What's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. Today, as you can see on my table, we have iPhone 15 Pro Max and iPhone 14 Pro Max. And we're gonna do a comparison, a quick comparison between these two phones, and it will be a comparison in performance. So we're gonna see how they will open some application, how fast they will be. We will do some benchmarks and we will see if the differences between the A17 Pro and the A16 are there. I don't think that we're gonna see so many differences between the two in terms of performance, but anyway, we have both of the of these devices right here, so why not testing them? And by the way, before starting, I mean, I have to say it probably any time that we are gonna see these two devices in my video because the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it is so much lighter and so much easy to handle because of the titanium and also the smooth edges. I mean, if you haven't tried yet, you have to go in the nearest shop or Apple store and just test them out because, I mean, you cannot feel it in my videos. First thing that we are going to do is to power on these devices and let's see the differences between the two. So three, two, one. So the logo just appeared a little bit faster on my 14 Pro Max. So let's see how it goes. It is the 15 Pro Max to power on much faster in this case. So before starting the test, you can see that the percentage of my battery right there and right there, the 15 Pro Max, it is at 89% and the, and the 14 Pro Max, it is at 92%. So we have no application in the background. And the first application we're gonna see it is settings because I'm gonna show you just something. So let's press settings. Of course, it is the same thing. And we go into battery right here and battery right there. So I've just charged these devices both at 100% just an hour ago. And you can see that I've used 20 minutes and more the camera because I did some videos and photos that you are going to see in the next video. You can see right there, 36 minutes, 22 minutes, pretty much the same. Don't look at my hours on TikTok. I mean, just don't look at it. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to consider this screen active time because I think it's a little bit bugged because I charged my device to 100%, so you shouldn't have considered this screen on time, but just the screen on time when the phone was at 100%. Anyway, both charged at 100%, 35 minutes right here of camera usage, 22 minutes right here of camera usage, 92%, 88% right now, just right now. But you have to consider that in the 15 Pro Max, I have my SIM card, so it does use the data, of course, and in the 14 Pro Max, we have nothing. So when I was outside right now doing some photos and videos, of course, the battery usage was mostly on my 15 Pro Max. Anyway, we are pretty much at the same level. You can see, of course, my 15 Pro Max, it is at 100% of battery health. And on my 14 Pro Max, still I am at 100% because I never, never fully charge these devices to 100%. This was my first time, actually, after a year on my 14 Pro Max. After all of that, maybe we're gonna do an in-depth battery review after, but let's see how they perform in the application. Let's do, for example, uh, X. It is the 15 Pro Max. Just don't mind the loading on the 14 Pro Max. I think it was a Wi-Fi problem. Let's do, for example, Amazon. Pretty much identical. It feels like it was the same device. It keeps doing that because they are just together. So I'm gonna just split it up a little bit because I have this problem every time I get these devices one close to each other. Anyway, let's open Instagram. pretty much identical. You can see also the same video, so same stuff. For example, Google Translate, same stuff. Let's open uh, TikTok. A little bit faster on the 15 Pro Max. Let's try YouTube. A little bit faster on the 15 Pro Max. Same stuff, pretty much. Let's open, for example, the Health Hub little bit faster on the 15 Pro Max. But right now, let's test the Wi-Fi speed. Unfortunately, I don't have Wi-Fi 6E in my home, so we're gonna test for standard Wi-Fi. It is a standard 5 gigahertz 
connection, but we're gonna do it first on one and then onto the other, and we're gonna see the differences. So these are the results on the 15 Pro Max, and let's do it also on the 14 Pro Max. And yes, don't judge my internet speed. I mean, this is the best that I can get right here where I live. So it is what it is. So you can see, you can already see that within the same Wi-Fi and especially the same Wi-Fi technology, you have pretty much the same performance. Here we miss just one megabyte on the upload, but I mean, it is pretty much irrelevant. Let's do some tests with Geekbench 5 on both of these devices. It was very, very much faster opening on the 14 Pro Max. And you can see that on the 14 Pro Max, we have iOS 17.0.1 and only on the 15 Pro Max, which we have the 17.0.2 because it is only an update for the iPhone 15 series. You can already see that here we have six gigabytes of RAM. Here we have eight gigabytes of RAM. And of course we have different processor right there. It doesn't say the exact version of my chipset, but it is a 17 pro of course. So let's start and run the benchmark. So the iPhone 15 pro max is about to finish. And I mean, it was like a little bit ahead of my 14 pro max, but not by that much. Let's see the score comparison. It is a little bit higher actually, especially on the single core performance. These results right here are just comparable to my M1 Pro MacBook. And this is like uh, amazing for a, a portable device, especially a phone like that. So this A17 Bionic, it is a very, very good chipset. Then let's do a last test on the 3D Mark benchmark. So let's do this Wildlife Extreme test and let's see how it will go. Remember, this is the 14 Pro Max and this the 15 Pro Max. So of course, the 15 Pro Max has just finished a little bit faster than the 14 Pro Max. And we have almost 600 points of difference, almost four FPS of, on average on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So the battery went down by zero on both devices. That's kind of strange actually, because here it says 90 to 90, but it is at 89%. The frame rate was higher on the 15 Pro Max, but also lower on the 15 Pro Max because we have 11 FPS on the minimum and 12 on the 14 Pro Max. So one FPS less on the 15 Pro Max. Then we have all the results right there if you want to check them out. And that is pretty much it. You can see also my previous tests on the 14 Pro Max with iOS 16.3.1 and this was my results. With iOS 17, this is the results. So it's a little bit lower. So I've just noticed that. But anyway, we have it right there. So let's try to open back the old application and let's see how the memory will manage this application. So let's open X. No reloads. Amazon. No reloads. Instagram. No reloads, of course. TikTok. No reloads, of course. Let's open the camera app that we didn't open before. Pretty much the same stuff on both of these devices. Let's open YouTube. No reload. Let's open the settings. No reload, of course. So that's pretty much it. And you can see that my battery right now on the 15 Pro Max, it is at 86% and 89% on the 14 Pro Max. And the devices are pretty much warm in the back. Nothing special. Let's see for the 14 Pro Max. The 14 Pro Max, it's a little bit colder right there, but a little bit warmer right here. So the 15 Pro Max, it's a little bit warmer right there. So I think this device is gonna give some overeating problem. <laughs> That's pretty much the case, I think. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, that was pretty much it. If you did enjoy this video, just leave a like down below. And of course, leave a comment if you want to see some more application compared, like heavy games and some stuff like that. I will do it, of course. And also, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, just subscribe right down below. It's free. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.